we know that most breast cancer isn't is not inherited and there are a lot of other risk factors that I know your site has a lot of information on and I would encourage people to look into being overweight contributes to increased risk drinking too much alcohol taking extra hormones especially after menopause and there are other risk factors that people should be aware of so we might see a single occurrence of cancer in a family and that's most of the cases they're not usually inherited and the onset is later in life. And most of these people don't have an increased risk beyond the general population risk. There Dr. Are, Steiner? Please. Dr. Steiner, can I ask a quick question about that? What yes. about for women? What about for women who have undergone uh, fertility treatments, in vitro, uh, Clomid? Um, that's a, that's what, what are a their risks? Question. Yeah, the good news is that those women are not at increased risk, probably, most likely. We, we, there is some what we would call very weak evidence to suggest that there might be some increased risk there. But for most of those women, just as for women who take oral contraceptive pills, birth control pills, there is no increased risk. So that's great. The hormonal risk comes from taking hormones after menopause, estrogen and progesterone that women take after they've gone through menopause to deal with hot flashes or other symptoms. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.